Good evening. So today's Navajo lesson is going to be about how to start topics or to do conversation starters in Navajo. Um, most of the time when people want to learn how to say something as a conversation starter, usually they want to say, how do you say, how are you doing in Navajo? To say that in Navajo, you can say it one of two ways. You can say, or you can say, uh, and so that's basically how I would say, how are you doing? And then you can respond with, I'm fine, I'm sick, I'm cold. But the thing with that is, in English, that's a proper way to start a conversation. In Navajo, you usually don't use something like that to start a conversation. If you're asking, how are you doing, like, um, ha, ha you're asking them if they're sick. If you, if you know that they're not doing well, if you know that they're, like, uh, sick or depressed, then you would ask a question like that. But in Navajo, that's really not a conversation starter. So when you're talking to an elderly, usually how an elderly person will begin a conversation is saying, ah, uh, ah. Uh, and they'll ask their question, they'll ask questions like that. And literally the word uh, means open, like open up, but that's not really the context. It usually means like, tell me about it. Uh, and you can usually just go up to an elderly person, stand next to them and say, uh, and it'll start a conversation. I mean, you can start a conversation by just saying, but at times, just kind of opening out and bursting out like that can kind of seem like really like, what are you doing? What are you doing? You know? But if you say, uh, it's more of a polite way of asking, how are you doing? So if there's questions that you want to ask to start a conversation going, um, it's a good idea just to start out, start it with the phrase, uh, and it makes it like a more polite way of asking a start a question, starting a conversation going. So here are a couple of phrases that you can use to start various conversations. The first one is um, what we talked about before. Uh, uh, and this means, uh, what are you doing? Uh, and if you're going to ask about the future term, like in the future, you would say, uh, and it's like, what will you be, what will you be doing? Uh, or you can also ask past tense, and to say that in Navajo, you'd say, uh, uh, and that's past tense. If you want to ask somebody where they're going, you can say, uh, uh, where are you going? If you want to ask somebody, where did they go? You would say, uh, that's where did you go? Uh, if you know, if you come across somebody and you're like, hey, where are you coming from? You can say, uh, Sometimes you will just hear elderly say, uh, but that doesn't mean like, where are you coming from? That's like if uh, somebody asks you that, it's like, where are you from? Where are you originally from? Where do you live? Uh, it's, a, it's a short way of saying, where are you from? Uh, and you might hear that one as well. Also, if you just want to like get local news, you can, or if you want to like know what the word is, you would say uh, uh, and this is more like for, for news, but if you want to know what like the local gossip is, then you would say uh, and that's more for local news, but for more like, for more news news, then you would say uh, and you can ask in that form as well. And then just as an additional to that, you would say, uh, like, uh, what was said, what, what, was, what was just said, or what was said, need. Uh, need. And again, it's a good idea to start out conversations with, uh, this way it's more of a polite way of, like, starting a conversation. Uh, and it basically just means, like, tell me about it, or open up. Uh, so you might hear people just walk up to you and just kind of, like, you know, ask a question. Uh, uh, and that's basically how, you know, Navajos initiate a conversation. They initiate a conversation with the phrase, uh, and I hope that brings you uh, more um, information about how to start a conversation, because I know a lot of you guys want to know how to initiate conversations. Or if you hear these phrases, then you will know 
how to answer a question. You may not be able to answer it in, in Navajo, but at least you'll be able to under, respond back in English. All right? Have a nice day. Before I forget, one important usage of this word, you can also say, uh, hai. Uh, hai, and this means, what's up? And a lot of people always ask me, how do you say what's up in Navajo? So one way to say it in Navajo is, uh, hai, and that's what's up. All right, there's that last little tidbit.